My name is Christopher Dyer, and I'm a scientist at the Rhein-Neckar District Health Authority, which is also responsible for Heidelberg City here in Germany. Recently, we submitted an article to JMIR publishing data collected during the COVID-19 pandemic, examining who was being infected, who was being quarantined, and who died due to an infection. We looked at variations between genders or geographical locations, but found the greatest differences between age groups with regard to the risk of being infected, placed in quarantine, or death due to COVID-19. Interestingly, we found that across the first five phases or waves of the pandemic, the use of quarantine, which was relatively high for young people, was not consistent with the risks of infection or death. What we now want to know is was trans transmission between these groups homologous or were there clear patterns of infection within and between age groups? But this will be the focus of our next publication. What is already clear, however, is that these questions who is being infected, what groups are suffering the most serious outcomes, and who is infecting whom, are critical when designing and implementing disease control measures. We chose to submit our research to JMIR publications because of its high impact factor within the area of public health research. As this was our first publication in this area, we needed to find a journal where we could clarify the strength of our data source and provide a complete picture of these initial results. While it is known from other research that Germany is one of the few countries where the true incidence of COVID-19 was accurately reported to health authorities, how this was achieved by contact tracing processes put in place by local health authorities is less well known. JMIR was recommended by one of our co-authors from Heidelberg University as one of the few journals where it would be possible to clarify at least some of the details of contact tracing in Germany, as well as the digital solutions for contact tracing developed within our local health authority and how this was developed into one of the most valuable research databases on this topic. Submitting the paper to JMIR publications was as easy as one could expect a thorough process to be. It was, our first pro it was our first publication with the journal, so we did not know what to expect. The reviewers were hard but fair and without question added clarity and value to the paper. The copy editor was engaged and helped us resolve several issues that again improved the quality of the paper. Thank you very much, Sveta. Turnaround times were relatively short following each step of the process, and what helped us a lot was knowing the current status of the submission, which is always made clear in emails and within the system itself. We will definitely publish our follow-up paper in JMIR and recommend this journal to other, to other researchers.